there are quite a few lip products to talk about today, so let's get into it. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I can't believe it's actually feeling like spring in New York. That gets me so excited. If you haven't followed my Instagram, you definitely should. I will link it down below. I post so many pictures of like fashion and beauty and then also my puppy Boo. She has her own YouTube channel if you guys don't know. I'm not really sure if I really discussed it, but it's kind of just me and my boyfriend having these experiences with her and a lot of her firsts and they're just so fun to document because she's just growing so incredibly fast. So if you guys are interested in like doll content, I definitely check out her channel. Let's talk about my favorite spring lip products. I am so excited about this video. There are I wanna say maybe a good 10 products that I'll be talking about today, but this will be a pretty quick video since I'm solely talking about lip products. They're on the lower end, they're on the higher end, so hopefully you guys find something. I'm including lip glosses, lip liners, lipsticks, multi-sticks, so I think you'll find something. Anyway, let's get into it. Starting off with the e.l.f. Cosmetics Red or Dye Lip Balm in Tough Cookie. This, guys, is just such a great pick-me-up, perfect for your purse, your car. To me, this is a really great your lips but better. Like, it has a little bit of pigment, but it's not too bright. It's also, like, it's not too cool. It's, like, right in between. It's very comfortable. I even included it in my best lip balms. So if you guys missed that video, I'll leave it right here. It costs $5, and you can't beat it. This lip balm is a bit thicker. Some people prefer that. Some people don't, so I just want to let you guys know. Next we have is Milani fruit fetish lip balm in mango coconut this costs 7.99 there are a bunch of different scents and all the scents remind me of just warmer days like there's strawberry lemonade there's like a papaya there's like kiwi there's just ones that are more unique as far as like the combination of the two so i would definitely check that out this one specifically isn't clear but i think the other ones have a little bit of tint to them obviously there is a fragrance and i don't mind that because it just transports me to i don't know vacation just like warmer days and that gets me really excited Excited. Now going into NYX Cosmetics, this is the famous Slide On Glide On Extremely Waterproof Lip Liner. Guys, this really does stay put. It's so affordable. It's $8. This one specifically is Sugar Glass. They say it's a true nude with yellow undertones. I would pretty much agree to that. This has been my holy grail nude lip liner. It just works so well with my undertones and especially since I have a warmer yellow undertone, this just works so well and doesn't make me look sick. You know what I mean? Then we have Jason Beauty Stay In Line Lip Pencil. The shade is Nudist and it's $10. Now I've talked about Jason Wee Beauty the whole entire line. I've gone through a majority of his products. If you guys are interested and you want to know my opinion of the best and worst from that line, I'll leave it right here. This lip pencil is really good. It's not as long lasting as the NYX one, but this shade is so pretty. This is another good nude, but it is different from the NYX one. This one is a touch warmer, touch lighter, and the NYX one one has just a touch of pink ever so slightly but this is a beautiful liner that is so affordable so i definitely think you should get your hands on it and then to go with that is the jason wu beauty honey fluff lip cream and nudist this one is just it's so comfortable now it doesn't dry down so it's not transfer proof but the color again is so beautiful it's the same color as the lip liner and i really love this one as you go lighter in these products it will show the streaks when you apply it just so you know if you do prefer the lighter colors i would definitely top it with a gloss but this one you don't necessarily have to. It's just a really great nude for me. A lot of you guys ask what's on my lips in many of my videos. I feel like I should add that in my description box. If you do want to see that, let me know in the comments below. But this one specifically, you guys always ask about. And honestly, not enough people are talking about it. And it's the Rare Beauty Lip Souffle in the shade Brave. This costs $20 and it's a muted terracotta. And I think that description is pretty spot on. Now this lip cream is a little bit different from the Jason Wee Beauty one. I find this one to be more long lasting and it really doesn't show any streaks whatsoever. Now this is the only shade I have. I definitely need to explore the other ones like the red shade. If I can find my perfect nude I totally would go for that but guys this color is just so so beautiful. You'll also notice I tend to favor more of the brownie nudes, the terracottas, the orangey red so just so you guys know some of these will look very similar to one another. It's so comfortable and although it doesn't dry down completely completely. It does transfer a bit. It's just absolutely beautiful. So now let's get into multi-sticks. Multi-sticks are some of my favorite products. Although I don't have a minimal makeup collection, I do try to keep in mind what I'm using and what I have and what 
that I don't have so I don't have too much of the same thing you know what I mean but this lip tinted hue stick in rise is stunning I posted a photo on Instagram and it got shared so many times and saved so many times even the brand reposted it and it just looks so beautiful the shade is like a terracotta but a bit different from the rare beauty like that one is more muted and this one is a bit brighter and more of that like orangier shade if you know what I mean and you can use this under the eyes just to help with the darkness even on blemishes this is such a great product you can also use it on your cheeks I love doing that especially in the summertime but you really can't mess this up and it's just so user friendly and if I didn't mention this costs $24 another multi stick that I want to talk about is the Jason Mew Beauty Hot Fluff in Eclair this costs $12 and I think it's one of their best products from their whole entire line you can use it on your cheeks your eyes your lips now you can't use this under your eyes like the lip tinted one but this is such a beautiful shade I would say it's kind of like a warmy pink color I guess depending on your skin tone it might pull more pink or a little less pink it really just depends but it just feels so comfortable it's not transfer proof but I just love these so so much you guys gotta grab this it's so worth it this one is the M Cosmetics lip cushion tinted lip luminizer guys to me this is like the epitome of a spring lip product it's comfortable it has a little bit of color on it and overall it's just so hydrating on the lips it has really great ingredients i've talked about it before it's 22 dollars. i have it in magic hour which is like a peachy nude that's what they're saying i would definitely say it's very peachy it's just honestly one of the most comfortable lip products that i'll be talking about today it glides on effortlessly and there's really nothing bad to say about this i've even tried the clear quartz one that's amazing if you want no tint again i talked about it in my best lip balms if you guys want to see that video i'll definitely have it at the end of this video another m cosmetics product is their true gloss you guys can't go wrong with this either i don't know what it is but michelle fawn and her team just nail it with their lip products i've talked about it before for, but this one is so so good it's moroccan sunset it's a dusty coral and it costs 20 dollars. in the cutaway it looks very pigmented you can also just dab it on your lips and that will look just as beautiful i just find this to be a really unique color i just haven't discovered anything like this and again very comfortable the gloss is so pretty it's not sticky to me this is the ultimate lip gloss for your collection and the last lip product that i want to talk about today is a lip gloss this is the elf cosmetics sugar plum plump lip plumping gloss now this shade is in mauve glitz i find this to be a really great kind of everyday lip gloss it just enhances your natural lip color it does have the little bits of shimmer in it and i don't mind that now it is plumping on the lips so you definitely feel it but it's not sticky whatsoever now even though i don't care for plumping this formulation is so good and they have really great shades and it's just so affordable i'm actually wearing it right now and it just gives this beautiful like sheen to the lip it does make my lips appear a little bit bigger if you can tell it's just one of those products that you can just put in your purse if you made it to the end of this video thank you for watching let me know down below what is your favorite lip product for this spring i've talked about so many i hope you guys found something new something to try i'll definitely have everything linked down below before you leave definitely like this video and subscribe to this channel for more fashion and beauty content happy spring and i'll see you guys in another video bye